the other fishing channel here. Yo, yo, yo. We're back down here in Monterey, California. We're going to be targeting today rockfish, lean cod, and we've got a good report. Uh, some guys are getting some ocean whitefish down towards Big Sur. So we're going to give it a try today. These whitefish are typically caught down in San Diego, uh, Catalina Islands area. And uh, these fish are they're hard fighting. And uh, I've heard they're a really great uh, table fare. And so uh, we're going to give it a try. These fish are, you know, the white fish are usually caught uh, often while rock fishing. Uh, Monterey is typically the, as far as they come north. But uh, we're going to make this run roughly about 30 miles south and uh, give it a try. Let's take a ride. What a ride down here on the grounds and uh, first spot we got here about 170 feet of water and the fish anywhere from 100 to 170 feet deep and so we're gonna give this spot a try and uh, drop our lines down let's give it a shot John's on. barely hit bottom and he's already hooked up he's using squid and octopus on a high low rig and uh, these rockfish and lean cod love bait so uh, he's fighting this fish here look at the rod bent over pretty good oh man fish off lost the fish all right it's my turn to give it a try here I've got a ugly stick seven foot rod paired up with the truth SG reel with 50 pound power pro braided line I like using this setup here, especially rock fishing and catching lings. Uh, you get snagged up often, and with this braid, it doesn't break off. And so, let's give it a shot. Boom! Fish on! Right on the drop. Look at that. Check it out. Whoa! Look at the rod bent over. Let's see what we got here. Come on! Nice, nice, nice fish. This is. It feels like a rock fish right here. Got a rockfish on. Fishing 170 feet deep is, it's not always fun, but these fish, you know, they're down deeper and uh, they're real congregated. There's a lot of fish down there. It's... You know, another thing about this reel, fishing 170 feet deep, it makes it a lot easier reeling up. It's got a, you know, a big handle on it. To reel and it's you know I'm pulling in 30 to 36 inches of line each crank and so it makes it real nice it doesn't tire you out so much but look at it whoa nice yellowtail beautiful that's a good yellowtail right there all I'm doing here I'm just jigging the jig right off the bottom letting it go all the way down and giving the rod just a little jerk up and back down just keep doing that and the rockfish will come back and hit it. I'm hooked up now on a rockfish. Let's see what we've got here. Come on. Good fighting fish. Oh, it's a Boccaccio. Nice. These Boccaccios, they get larger than some of the other rockfish. And uh, they're real good eating though. Look at the fish. Nice, nice colors on it. Beautiful. I just got here is a good six to seven pounds maybe and it looks like Jay in the back he's hooked up on a vermilion another nice rockfish beautiful well, back over to Sean looks like he's doubled over he thinks he's got a big ling on let's see what he's got he's using light tackle today so his rod's got a little more bend than uh some of the rods like I'm using it's a little bit stiffer but uh, wow doubled up looks like maybe a vermilion and a gopher I'm already hooked back up and I just got down to the bottom these rockfish are real aggressive uh, anything you put in front of them they're gonna hit I'm mostly using today it's a 8 ounce jig 
and I've got it set up so I've got a five inch swim bait attached to the bottom of the jig and uh, you know it works best for me and it just gives it that more action and uh, these rockfish they just they can't resist it and, uh, it's it's been a great go-to for me it's never let me down man this fish really putting up a fight I'm down you know 200 feet and uh, wow another nice one vermilion oh coming off get the gaff grab the gaff got it you guys can see the fish floating up like that so when we bring them up from so deep that they just uh, their bladders get filled up and uh, tend to stay up in the water next up looks like Anna she's hooked up on a fish right now this is her first trip out down to Big Sur she's never fished the salt water and so I'm sure she'll get spoiled catching the fish down here with the hot bite but that's a nice nice canary very good eating and hard fighting fish looks like we got our first double hookup of the day Sean's hooked up in the back with a nice fish and we've got Anna here she's hooked up on a nice fish as well and it looks like the way it's fighting from the rod it may be the ocean whitefish we were out here to look for these whitefish are uh, often caught while rock fishing. They're bottom feeders, but I've heard they're really uh, keyed into the octopus and squid for bait, and that's what Anna's been using. So uh, let's see. Whoa! Yep, it is in whitefish, ocean whitefish. Nice one. If I can get the gaff. Oh, there we go. Nice. doing here is I'm just hooking the whole it's a baby squid and it's got a high low rig I'm just tipping each of the hooks on the bottom I've got a squid strip and the top one here just putting the whole baby octopus on it yeah, and these fish love it back down to Sean in the back uh, he's been killing these ocean white fish and uh, this one right here looks like a good sized fish might be a ling, maybe possibly ocean whitefish, but that rod is really bent over. You can see that little seagull in the back there just waiting for the fish to come up to the surface to try and get. Look at that rod just pumping. Sean loves catching these whitefish and uh, these fish pull hard and they don't get that big. The ones we've been catching uh, today have been, uh, you know, a few pounds, five, six pounds maybe, but they fight hard. I don't know what it is, something about the head shake or uh, just the way they're shaped, but these fish, they pull hard. You can see that rod just bent over pumping still. There it comes right now, Sean. It's about to grab it and then... Another ocean whitefish. Nice size right there. Wow. That one's about seven pounds. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Nice ocean whitefish. That's why we came down here. We've heard the bite's been good and uh, fish are still around. Man, already hooked up. Not even to the bottom and these, these fish are just on the hooks. Uh, yeah, a lot of guys, they talk about Big Sur and uh, you know, it's a long run it's you know roughly 30 miles from uh, Monterey but the fishing down here is just absolutely off the hook and I'm hooked up right now and uh, another nice gopher good size right there that's a gopher looks like we got the captain hooked up right now first fish of the day for him and it's a good one this is a nice fish. Ling cod. Beautiful fish. That's a nice ling there. On the shrimp flies. Nice. Good size ling cod right there. Those are tasty fish. If you've never caught a ling cod before. You've got to be real careful. They've got some teeth on them. 
and when they bite or latch on to something it's real hard to get these fish off and so I always use some pliers to remove the hooks just so I don't get bit these fish have taken off some fingers so just be careful looks like the captain is back on another fish and it looks like a good one Let's see what he's got it's a nice blue rockfish these blues are typically schooled up and uh, they'll be off the bottom a little ways but uh, it's a good one on the shrimp fly what do you know Sean's hooked up again in the back of the boat this guy he doesn't ever take a break yeah, and so he's always catching fish even when I'm not or the captain's not and he's got another nice gopher on the jig Man, I, I just can't explain the bite today. It's been, uh, the bite's been crazy. We've caught in rockfish, all different kinds, link cod, ocean whitefish, and I've got another gopher rockfish right here using my uh, jig and uh, root beer curly tail grub. This bite's been great today. Back at the front of the boat, and we've got Miss Anna. She's hooked up again. Man, she's been killing it today. I can tell by her arms are starting to give out, and uh, she's setting that rod right in the rod holder. But she's got another nice link cod and a rockfish. Those are really good eating fish, and uh, looks like it might be a keeper, but we're gonna take a measurement on that link cod. Uh, legal size is anything over. 22 inches so we'll take a look that's another keeper link cod for miss Anna 22 and a half inches and all I'm doing now is bonking the fish on the deck I usually like doing it after we get you know five or six fish maybe seven and uh, just bonk them on the head knock them out and then I'll go through each fish and cut the gills to make sure all the blood gets out of the fish and it just makes it a lot better when you go to clean them you don't have to deal with all the blood and uh, it seems like the fish you know just tastes a lot better so let me just go ahead and uh, do that to these fish and uh, we'll see what happens We got Sean hooked up again in the back of the boat on another nice ocean whitefish. He's been killing it today using uh, mostly bait on his hook. So he's got a high low rig and he's been tipping the hooks with octopus and squid. And it seems like these uh, whitefish are just really keyed into the bait. And so it's it's been great. You know, the weather's been nice. And uh, look at that fish right there. Watch out, I'm hooked up again. I'm hooked up on this side now. My rod's going off. And it looks like a good fish. Rod's bent over, nice. This is probably another nice rockfish or link cod that we're hooked up on. Let's see what we've got. And another rockfish to the boat. Today's been just off the hook. All these fish have really been on the chew and having the weather like we've had today, flat calm, very little wind, and this, this trip's just been unreal. Uh, we're lucky to be down here in December catching the quality of fish we're getting and uh, if you ever get a chance, uh, I recommend making this trip. But uh, it's time to get going. Let's make a run back.
thank you for watching the video. It's been a great fishing trip. This is my third trip fishing down in Big Sur for the year. I've never fished it before and so I've seen a lot of big fish caught down there. But uh, if you've never fished it, there's some party boats in uh, Monterey and also Moss Landing. And uh, it's a trip of a lifetime. So I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. Leave some comments down below. And as always, please subscribe for some more fishing videos coming at you soon. Thank you and I'm out.